Hey everybody, Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. Today we're going to take a look at creating a simple bleach bypass look in Premiere Pro. It's pretty easy, it's a lot of fun to do, and there's a lot of control you have. Check this effect out. Pretty cool, right? Now, I am particularly exhausted at the time of recording this tutorial uh, because I recorded a few tutorials here in the new space only to realize we had some audio issues and there was like this really super annoying buzz, this electronic buzz that would have, the audio was unlistenable unless you're a fan of migraine headaches, uh, which I don't think there's anybody out there who is. So anyway, if you do enjoy this video tutorial, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you never miss any video tutorials in the future. And if you really enjoy this tutorial, well, there's a link that just appeared up there. Consider supporting this channel by picking up a copy of my Photoshop course all about how to retouch images. I know it's not Premiere. I'm working on a Premiere Pro course and I hope to have it done soon. But for now, the best way to support the channel, pick up a copy of that course. There's also a link to it uh, to pick it up down in the bio of this video as well. Let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. All right, so here we are. I have a couple different clips here that we will try this effect on. The first is this sort of World War I reenactment, pretty cool. Uh, the second is just this kind of aerial shot over this lake. And the third is kind of this Caribbean uh, urban environment down in Antigua. And uh, we're gonna see if this effect works with all of these different types of environments. So I'm gonna hit the little eyeballs here to shut off V1 and V2 just to hide those video tracks. And we're gonna work with our World War I clip first. So what I'm gonna do, I actually have an old adjustment layer here. I'm just gonna delete that for the sake of this tutorial. I'm gonna choose the new item option down here at the bottom of my project bin. I'm gonna choose new item and I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer. I know I just have one there, but I just wanted to show you how to create your own. Create an adjustment layer and then we're gonna drag that adjustment layer out onto our timeline and I'm gonna place it above any video tracks that I want to have this bleach bypass effect. Then I'm gonna click on the edge of the adjustment layer and I'm gonna drag it out to the length of, in this case, the longest clip, which is that urban an environment uh, clip that we have on top. All right, now I'm gonna select this adjustment layer and we're gonna come over here to effects, right here, the effects panel. And I'm going to, I'm, I, don't, I don't need anything in keying. I wanna come down here to color correction. I'm gonna double click to open that up and I'm gonna add a channel mixer. I'm gonna drag that and drop it on the adjustment layer. Now what I wanna do is up here in my effect controls panel, I wanna come down here to opacity. I'm gonna select this little arrow here next to opacity. Oh, I'm gonna actually hit the arrow, there we go. And I'm gonna change the blend mode, right? I don't want it to be normal. I'm gonna just drop the blend mode to overlay. Um, now we can try a few different things. We could try soft light, that does some cool things. Um, it's kind of like overlay, but you don't have as much risk of just completely blowing the living daylights out of your highlights. You could also try something like screen, which will give a lot of brightness to your image, or if, you if it's already a very bright image, try multiply, and that'll kind of darken the image. But the real good bleach, by bleach bypass effects have this kind of like blasting contrasty look. So let's begin with overlay here. And then I'm gonna set my channel mixer and I'm, I'm gonna tick on, whoops, I'm gonna make sure I set my blend mode to overlay. I'm gonna tick on down here the monochromatic option, monochrome. And that's gonna sort of begin to wash out some of the color. And at this point to really control what this looks like, I'm gonna begin sliding the red, red, green, green, and blue, blue sliders. They're the ones that are set to 100 by default. I'm gonna begin just pushing and pulling them. So I can see if I boost red, red, it's really gonna kick a lot of brightness into my highlights. And then if I go with green, it's really not doing a whole lot for this particular image. And blue also not doing a huge amount, all right? All right, so there we go, we've got that. Let's see what a uh, blend mode of soft light looks like. It's pretty cool, it kind of mutes it a little bit, but it still boosts it. If we hit the little eyeball here just to shut that adjustment layer off, you can see there is the image we began with, and there it is with our bleach bypass effect. Let's turn on the beautiful lake, sort of the aerial shot, and we can see that this image has gotten substantially brighter. In fact, if I shut the adjustment layer off, there it is before, and there it is after. We get a nice kind of bleached out bypass effect. In fact, I'm gonna try setting the blend mode here to overlay for this shot. As you can see how it really just blasts those highlights. Um, and that may not be what you want, but maybe it is. So I'm just trying to give you some options here. I'm gonna set this back to the blend mode of soft light because I think it's just a little bit more pleasing and gentle on the eyes. Now I'm gonna turn on, I'm gonna hit the eyeball to turn on the uh, the old world or the, the urban uh, example here. 
and uh, we can see there's before and there is after. Now maybe we can try setting this one to a blend mode of overlay. And again, with, with this particular shot, I'm gonna go back to soft light, I just prefer it. Uh, this particular shot, uh, changing the blue slider is gonna do different things, changing the green slider. It's gonna affect this image a little bit differently uh, than it did our World War One image, but still red, red is really doing the most. And you can even come into red, green, red, blue, uh, all of these different options, and you can play around with all of them until you get just the perfect effect or what you think is the perfect effect for that particular frame or shot that you're working with. And you can see there's before, there's after. Just a nice simple bleach bypass effect in Premiere Pro. It's pretty easy. It's just a matter of mixing a blend mode. And I love to work with the channel mixer slam that baby on monochrome and by the way you can shut monochrome off when you can see in this case it's just we've added so much green that it's really killing the image so we probably want to work with monochrome but if you just mess with red red green green and blue blue and you just you know tweak and push them either way uh, you can get some interesting and cool bleach bypass effects uh, by even without turning on monochrome but monochrome just gives it that nice washed out somewhat muted but really heavy punchy contrast that bleached bypass effect so guys that's it. That is how you create that bleach bypass effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you enjoyed this tutorial, again, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Uh, and for working with the channel mixer and adjustment layers and all kinds of other things here in Premiere Pro, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do, and this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.